Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really easy granny square ornament. This is just three rounds, and then we're going to make a little hanging loop for it, and then add a little hook. For this project, you'll need a 5.5 millimeter eye crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and if you want, you can use a ruler. This square measures roughly four inches across. For the yarn, I'll be using Red Heart Super Saver. Any worsted weight yarn will do for this piece. And I'm going to be using the Red Heart Super Saver in Cherry Red, White, and Hunter Green. So let's get started. We're going to begin with the center. I'm going to be doing this granny square exactly like it's shown here, but definitely feel free to mix up the colors if you like, if you want to start with the green or so forth. So what we need to do to begin our square is to put a slip knot on our hook. So wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, and bring up the loop, and then tighten. Next, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. In the chain farthest from the hook, we're going to work a slip stitch to form a ring, and that's where we'll be working all of our stitches into. So insert the hook into the chain farthest from the hook, bring up a loop, then bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. We now have the ring we're going to be working our stitches into. And if you notice, there's a little tail here. I'm going to hold this along the edge as I work, and that will weave that in as we go along. Okay, so to begin round one, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Next, we're going to work three double crochet, then a chain one into the center of this ring. So to make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the center of the ring, and bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through the last two loops on your hook. So that's one double crochet, but we need two more to make three. So that's one, this is two, and then three. Okay, then chain one. Then we're going to repeat the same thing we just did. So work three more double crochet and then a chain one. So one, two, and three. Chain one. Now again, I'm just holding this tail along the edge as I work and it's getting woven in as we work these stitches. And if you need to push things over a little bit, that's okay too, just to give yourself a little bit more room. Okay, so we're going to do this one more time. So three double crochet, then chain one. One, two, and three. And chain one. I'm going to get a little bit more yarn here. Okay, then to finish off this round, now if you remember we did this chain four at the beginning, this chain four, the first three chains of this chain four count as the double crochet, and then that one counts as, see how we had this chain one in between these groups? So we're just going to work two double crochet into the center of the ring for this last little grouping, because we already have that chain acting like one of our double crochets. Okay, so that was one, and this is two. Now you're going to count one, two, three chains up from the starting chain that you did. Get my little tail out of the way here. We're going to snip that in just a minute. So count three chains up. One, two, three, and insert your hook. We'll join with a slip stitch to close the round. So bring up a loop, then bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Okay? So round one is complete. So what I'm going to do is just simply cut the red, and then we're just going to fasten it off. Now this little tail we've been weaving in, you can go ahead, flip your piece over, take the tail and pull tight, and then trim that off. I like to trim my ends as I go when I'm making granny squares, it just keeps things nice and neat. But you can wait till the end, it's up to you. So if we look at what we've done, we have these groups of double crochets that we've created. So you should have a little kind of plus sign, okay? So next we're going to switch to the white, because that comes next in our sequence. So we can move this red yarn aside for now, and we're going to grab the white. I'm just going to put that over here. So what we're going to do 
is locate one of these corners. So one, two, three, and four. Next, we'll work two double crochet in that same corner space. So one and two. Then we're going to chain one. Then in that same space, and I'm just pushing things over a little bit to give us a little bit more room, we'll work three double crochet. So one. Two, grab some more yarn, and three. Okay, so our first corner is complete. Now, whenever you're working white yarn onto a color like this, see how our red is can be showing through. I like to just kind of neaten everything up, just kind of push it over so that these all these white strands are kind of snugged up against one another so that red doesn't show through because that red is pretty a pretty strong color okay so let's move on to the next corner we're going to chain one again holding this tail as we go and then you're going to skip over these three double crochets so one two three and then we've located our next corner space so just do the same thing each corner will be three double crochet chain one three double crochet one two and three, chain one, one, some more yarn, two, and three. Okay, so our next corner is complete, it's starting to look more like a granny square as we move along. Okay, so let's skip over the, that next grouping of three double crochets and go into that chain one corner space and just do the same thing. One, two, and three, chain one, one, get some more yarn, two, and three. Chain one to go hop over here, skip over these three double crochets, and in that corner space do the same thing. One, two, three. Chain one. In the same space work three more double crochet. We'll get our tails out of the way here. Okay, so just do the same thing. Three double crochet. One, two, and three. Then we're going to chain one, then count the same way we did before. One, two, three chains up and join with a slip stitch to close the round. There we go. Okay, so then we're just going to cut the white yarn and fasten off. Same way we did with the red. Okay, and then you can kind of straighten everything out. I like to flip things over at this point and trim all those tails. Trimming as we go. Okay. Okay, so round two is complete and it's looking a lot like our other ornament. So next, we're gonna give your eyes a little bit of a break with this white on white here and switch over to the green yarn. So you need to give your yarn, if it's looking like this, give it a fresh cut. That's perfectly fine. I like to have a nice clean cut on my yarn when I start. So then we're going to just do the same thing as we did before. We're going to work corners, but we also now have sides to work. If we look at our piece over here, it goes corner, side, corner, side, corner, side, and so forth. 
So what we're going to do is just locate another one of these corners here. Insert your hook. Bring this green yarn through. And just tie it right on. So once our yarn is tied on, just insert the hook right back in that same area. Bring up a loop and chain four. One, two, three, and four. In that same space, work two double crochet. One, and two. We're still holding that tail along the edge as we work. Okay, then chain one. Get some more yarn if you need it. Then in the same space, work three double crochet. One, two, and three. So that first corner is complete. Okay. okay, so we're just going to continue around with the green. So we've come to a side. So for the sides, we're gonna work three double crochet and chain one for each side. So one, two, three, chain one. Now we're at a corner again, and if you notice, I'm holding this white along the edge as I work to weave that in as well. So we're at a corner, so our corners were three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet to work that corner. Get a little more yarn. So one, two, and three, chain one, then one, two, and three. Chain one, then this has been woven in sufficiently, so I'm just going to drop that tail for right now. Now we're at another side, so three double crochet, one, two, three, chain one, then work that corner again. Three double crochet, one, two, and three, chain one, and then three more, all in that corner space. So one, two, and three. We're about halfway done this round. So it's going pretty quickly. This is a really fast little project. Okay, we're at another side, so we're going to work one, two, three double crochets. So that was one, this is two, and then three, then chain one. Next, we'll work the last corner before we get to the end. So three double crochets, one, two, and three, chain one and then three more double crochets, all in that corner space. So one, two, and three. Okay, it's looking really pretty and very festive. So chain one, and then in that last side space, work three double crochet. One, two, three, chain one, and then we're going to count one, two, three chains up, join with a slip stitch to close the round. Then we're done. So we can cut the green yarn, go ahead and fasten that off. Okay, so our square looks awesome. Okay, so next we can get all this yarn out of the way. We'll get our scissors. So we have all these ends. Let's just give them a quick trim so we don't have to deal with them. They're all woven in, so we've already taken care of a lot of that. You're going to have this one end here. We flip it over here. You're going to have this one end that you won't be able to weave in because that was the very last end. So just grab your tapestry needle. Give it a little fresh cut if you need to. It makes threading the needle much easier. So just go ahead and thread your tapestry needle 
like that. Now flip your square over to the back. Now this is green yarn. We're just going to weave this into the green areas. If we went travel down into this white, it would show and not look as nice. So just weave the green into the green areas of your square or whatever color you're, you're using. Okay, so go one direction and then I like to come back in the other direction to help lock that little end in. Okay, so once you get that in and just get everything all straightened out, then you can take your scissors again and trim. So our square is complete. And this looks so pretty. I just love these in these holiday colors. They look so beautiful. Okay, so the square is done, but we need to make a little hanging loop. Now, if you have a really pretty piece of ribbon or something, a little scrap, it's a great project to use some scraps. I used the three colors from the square. So what we want to do is, if you want to do it this way, just grab all three colors at once, just like that. We can trim all this nice and neat later. So just grab, oh, about 12 to 18 inches and cut. I like to cut it a lot bigger than I think it's gonna be. That gives me lots of room to tie this cute little bow at the top. Okay, so in one of these corner spaces, cause we're gonna let it hang down like a diamond, just take all three colors and then just tie it at the top. Now I did kind of a little hanging loop because I'm gonna I'm using a hook with this one. But if you want to hang it on a doorknob or use it on a package, obviously you'll want your loop to be much bigger. So just make yourself a little loop and then go ahead and make a bow. Just make a loop, wrap it around, bring the other loop through. That'll make a cute little bow. And then you want to get that bow nice and tight so that I like to pull the loops through a little bit so they're a little too short. And then when you go to tighten it, you can just kind of keep doing this until everything is nice and tight. And that'll make your bow look nice and neat as well. Okay, if you want to add a little bit of extra security onto your bow so it won't come apart, go ahead and tie a knot right on top of it, just like that, okay? Once you get your bow, looking how you want it to look, then you can go ahead and cut your little tails. I like to cut them about the length of the loops. Okay, it's totally your preference. If you wanna leave them long, feel free to do that. So cut all these little tails off. And then, I can borrow this hook just to show you. If you're using it as an ornament, you can go ahead and take your ornament hook and just loop it right in there and it'll be ready for hanging. So it looks great. These, uh, like I said before, these look beautiful as a package um, decoration. If you want to put it on top of a, a gift or if you want to hang it on a doorknob or just use it here and there to decorate, you can make several of them and make a garland. So that is how you crochet an easy granny square ornament. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again!